Welcome to another session of the Oracle ERP Cloud Server Security Workshop. In today's session, we will show you how to copy a role using the Security Console. The Security Console is granted to the predefined IT Security Manager role. Here, I'm logging in as a user with the IT Security Manager role assigned. To access the Security Console, you can either go to the Navigator and choose the option under the Tools section, or you can go to the Springboard and then under the Tools folder, select Security Console. In order to copy a role, first you must search for the role that you want to copy from. Today I want to create an Accounts Payable Super User role, which combines accesses from all three predefined Accounts Payables job roles. To do that, I make a copy from the Accounts Payables Manager job as the basis and then add the other ingredients. So I'll search for the Accounts Payables Manager job. Now that I've found my role, I can select the copy role option either from the search results right here, or you can go to the visualizer on the role that you want to copy, right click and select the copy option. There are two flavors of copy roles. Copy top role will just create the copy of the role that you selected, and it would include all the functions, data security policies, as well as inherited roles from the source role. If you choose copy top roles and inherited roles, it will create a copy not only the roles that you select, but all the inherited roles as well. For today's demo, we will choose the copy top roles option. The first step of the copy role process is to review and modify the basic information for the role, namely the role name, role code, and description. The role source and role category are based on the source role and cannot be changed. Based on option set up earlier, the name custom has been added as a suffix to both the role name and the role code. We'll ignore the default and rename our new role Accounts Payable Super User. And we'll also change the role code to AP Accounts Payable Super User Custom. For the description, I'll just use Accounts Payable Super User. We are done with the basic information, so I'll click Next. If you are copying an application role, you have the options to review the function security policy as attached to the source role and then add or remove as needed for your copied role. However, since we are copying an external role today, there won't be any function security policies attached, so we will skip right to data security policies. Here you can review and then make changes to the data security policies from the source role to the copied role. You can edit or remove individual data security policies granted to the source role, or you can create new data security policies for your copied role. Since I'm making a copy that actually merges access from three different roles, I'm not going to make any changes to the data security policies from the source role. So I'll skip right to next. Next, I'll have a chance to review the role hierarchy of the source role and make any changes as needed. Since I want to combine accesses from three roles and using one of the roles as a basis, I will add the other two roles into the role hierarchy of the copied role. As you can see here, since I use Accounts Payables Manager as the basis of my copied Accounts Payables Super User role, there's only the Accounts Payables Manager role here, plus other roles for common accesses. I'll need to add Accounts Payable Supervisor and Accounts Payable Specialist to my Super User role. First, I'll add the Accounts Payable Supervisor role. I'll just type in Accounts Payable Supervisor here. Found it. Now, just select the role and click Add Role Membership. System confirms that the role Accounts Payable Supervisor is now a member of the Accounts Payable Super User role. Click OK. Next, I'll search for the Accounts Payable Specialist role. There you are. I'll click the Add Role Membership button again. The system confirms again that the role Accounts Payable Specialist is now a member of the role Accounts Payable Super User. We'll press OK. We're done here. As you can see here, 
our custom accounts payable super user role now has accounts payables manager role, accounts payable supervisor role, and accounts payable specialist role. We are done with role hierarchy. Now we will click next. Here you can assign users to this new role. I'm just go ahead and skip this step. And finally, it brings up to the summary and impact report page where it show you the summary of all the changes we have made to the copy role. As you can see here, the only change we have made is to add two additions to the role hierarchy. Yes, we have made those two changes, so we can go ahead and click Submit and Close. OK, we are done. You can check the status on the Administration tab, which is the lowest tab on the left-hand side. Looks like the copy is done. You can go back to the Roles tab and review the newly copied role. And remember, in the role copy process, the role name and the role code includes the word custom in the suffix. That's where you set it up. Back to the Roles tab, I can now search for my newly created Accounts Payable Super User role. There you are. You can now review the newly created role in the Visualizer. As you can see in this demo, it's very easy to create a copy of a role using the copy role feature in the Security Console. And thanks for watching this session of the Oracle ERP Cloud Service Security Workshop. I hope you find the information useful.